Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, in this video, we're gonna look at slope intercept form. We're gonna look at it from the ground up. But if you haven't already watched the previous video, you probably wanna go ahead and do that because I explained the fundamentals of graphing and functions. We looked at what a graph is, the different axes, coordinates, what all that stuff means. And we made up an example where we said, okay, it's $10 to get into a party and they charge an extra two bucks for every drink you have. So we created this thing called a function where you can basically compute what your total cost is gonna be as a function of the number of drinks you have. So the total cost is your output where the number of drinks is your input. So we made a, a, a T table here where you can see the number of drinks over here and the total cost there. So the total cost is a function of the number of drinks. It depends on how many drinks you have, right? Because if you have nothing, it would just be $10, which is the cover charge to get into that party. So, moving on. Slope-intercept form. What does that mean? So whenever you have an equation, like, okay, the, the example we looked at earlier, we said y equals, what was it, $10 plus 2x to figure out how much... Um, to figure out what our total cost would be. I'm just gonna rewrite it. So we said total cost was equal to $10 to get into the party, plus $2 for every drink multiplied by the number of drinks. We're just replacing these, uh, we're, just, we're just, instead of having total cost, we're putting Y, and instead of having number of drinks, we're putting X. It's just a convenience. So anytime you have a uh, equation that's written like this, it's called slope-intercept form. You'll see it written as uh, y equals mx plus b. You may have seen this. y equals mx plus b. It's just a bunch of letters. And the letters, I know, can probably be pretty scary to some people who are not, who are not friendly with math, or math is not friendly with them. <laughs> but it's really not that bad. So let's go ahead and write what all these different things mean. So y, this is our output, or our result. And in this example, it's the total cost. So b, this is our, uh, sorry, this is our y intercept. And that's basically where x is zero on the graph. So we saw the B term, actually it didn't tell you it was B, but the Y intercept was this 10 right here because see X is zero and the Y value is 10. It's wherever the graph intercepts the Y axis. It's at X is zero, Y is 10. So if you look, it's Y equals MX plus B. Before we had written Y equals 10 plus two X, but you can rewrite that we could, have, we could have written that as y equals 2x plus 10. So we have y equals 2x plus 10. So the 2 is kind of like the m, and the b is like the 10. So the y-intercept is b. So that's the same thing as this. So this is the b, and the 2 is the m. What is this m? The m, this is our slope, which you'll see in a minute. This is rise divided by run. Sometimes you'll hear it as rise over run. And again, the x value here, sorry, this is our uh, our input input value, which is, we said, the number of drinks, right? And this is, uh, this is independent of anything. It's really just up to us, right? That value doesn't depend on anything but our brain or our mind, how much we want to drink at the party. So hopefully it's not that much. You know, gotta be reasonable about it, right? So y equals mx plus b. y is the output, slope is m, x is our input, and b is the y-intercept. We actually did that on that other example. This is sometimes called a linear equation because the graph that it creates, like we saw in the other video, is a straight line, it's linear. It's written like this, L-I-N-E-A-R linear because it's in slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is any equation 
that looks like that, y equals mx plus b. So let's look at what the slope is. I'm sorry, I keep on going back and forth. So we know linear means y equals mx plus b. And we know for this example, it was y equals 2x plus 10 for that graph, right? Two times the number of drinks plus the $10 cover fee. So what's the slope here? Well, we know that m is slope, right? And the two is occupying the space for m. So the slope is two. That's our slope. But why? Why is two our slope? I told you that slope is always rise over run. So if you look at the graph, you can pick any point. You can pick this one, that one, this one. You can start from any point you want. Let's start right here. So rise over run, what does that mean? So if you start at the point and you rise, so it's basically, let, let me back up. So you, you pick a point and then you see what do you have to do to get to the next point. So if I wanna get, if I wanna go from this bottom point over here, what do I have to do? I have to rise two because see from 10 to 12, that's, that's a rise of two, right? And how much do I have to run? Run is like, you know, you're walking across. I have to run across. How far do I have to run across? So I rose two and I walked across. Well, the distance is right here from zero to one. So that's a one, right? So you had to rise two and you had to run one or walk across one because of the x-axis. So whenever you're looking at your run, you're always running along the x-axis. When you look at your rise, you're always rising up and down on the y-axis. So this is a rise two, run one. You can do that, like I said, for any point. So even like on this last point, you're gonna rise two because see, we went from, th this was 18, from 18 to 20, right? You jumped, this point was at 18, the second point is at 20. So you're always going from one point to the next. So we increase from 18 to 20, that's a rise of two. How far did we have to go horizontally? From four to five, that's, a, that's going over one, right? So you rise two, you run one. So the slope, remember we said slope, this is always rise over run, right? We rose two and we ran one. So two divided by one, that just equals two. And that's why it's our slope. Make sense? See, it's not that bad. So that's pretty cool. So, let me look at one more quick example, this y equals mx plus b stuff. Sometimes, let's see, let's look at an example. Let's say that they give you the slope and they give you a point on the graph. So let's say they say, uh, hey, if your slope m, let's say m equals three, and you're given a point x, y, like this, x comma y, they give you a point on the graph, and let's say that point is uh, x equals zero, y equals six. So they ask you, hey, go ahead and calculate b, or your y-intercept. What would that be? What's our y-intercept? So if we look at the equation, remember, y equals mx plus b. So we already know what m is, right? So we can go ahead and reduce, simplify this to y equals 3x plus b. So we want to find b, right? So what the heck is b? Knowing we have this, whenever x is zero, we know for sure y is six. So this, this is an equation, right? It's a function. So if you plug in a zero, the result has to be six, right? So basically the question is, what value of b do you need to have in order to get a y value of six whenever you plug in zero for x? Does that make sense? So if x were to be zero, let's pretend x is zero. So let's kinda, I'm gonna kinda start over here now. So if x is zero, Let's see, so we know that x is zero, y is six. So if y is six, if we're gonna rewrite the equation, y equals three x plus b, this would be six because y equals six, right? Six equals three times x. x has to be zero. 
plus b, right? So now you've got an equation with only one unknown. You know everything here except for the b, so you just have to solve for b. So what's three times zero? Well, that's easy, that's just, that's just zero, right? Anything times zero is zero. So when you do that, it shows that six equals b. Wow, who would have known? This was kind of obvious because I already told you that the y-intercept is wherever x is zero, so that kind of, that was a really easy one. So the answer to this would be y equals 3x plus six. That's actually the equation of that linear slope-intercept form line that we just looked at in the example. b is equal to six, m is equal to three, and that is slope-intercept. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'd be happy to help you out. See you next time.